Hello, I'm Xin Shuo Wang. I'm going to present our work, MTP, multi hypothesis tracking and prediction for reduced error propagation. Our work contributes an integrated tracking and prediction framework that is more robust to error propagation between multi object tracking and trajectory prediction. Our work targets a challenging problem multi agent trajectory prediction in the wild. In contrast to the standard, an idealized setting of trajectory prediction, which uses ground trespass trajectories as input, we are using onboard tracking results as inputs for trajectory prediction. And as a result, predictions can be challenging and errors can stem from the upstream perception noises. As an illustrative example, there might be identity switches, missing tracking, and noisy tracking. All of this could lead to prediction results significantly different from when using ground truth path trajectories as input. Besides the illustrative example, here we show a demo on a real-world autonomous driving dataset. Specifically, we ran state-of-the-art 3D detector and tracking methods on the KD datasets. The green boxes indicate objects with consistent detection and tracking, while the bolded boxes with various colors indicate a perception error. Because the detector and tracker have strong performance, most objects and most frames are correctly detected and tracked. However, there are still a small portion of objects having perception errors, such as identity switches or fragments as shown in these bolded boxes. This situation can get even worse on the nuisance dataset, which has a lower frame rate and sparser LiDAR sensor. Given these perception noises, what are the impact on the downstream trajectory prediction? To make a fair comparison, we first ran a trajectory prediction model using ground trespass trajectories. Results are evaluated under the standard mean ADE as shown in these gray bars. Similarly, we ran the same prediction model, but now using onboard tracking results as inputs. Prediction results are shown in these purple bars. Both numbers are computed for the same set of objects, such as objects with IDS switches or with fragments. The comparison shows that prediction errors increase by 10 to the 30 times for those objects with tracking errors. Similar trend is also observed on the nuisance datasets, where we can see that the tracking errors detrimentally affect prediction as well. To demonstrate how tracking errors affect prediction, we show a concrete example here. In the top row, we visualize two frames of trajectory prediction for the yellow object in the case of using ground trespass trajectories as inputs. Here, only the best prediction sample is visualized. In other words, the yellow object is moving straight in its ground truth future trajectories. However, if we look at prediction results when using tracking results as inputs for the same objects under the same two frames, there is nearly a wrong prediction where the orange object is predicted to move towards bottom left of the figure. The reason why this inconsistent prediction happens is because the identity of these orange objects is switched to the green object. We have shown that perception is imperfect and importantly, these perception errors are detrimental to predictions. However, one may still wonder how frequent are these prediction errors going to happen. If they rarely happen and are not safety critical, it might be fine to autonomous driving. To answer those questions, we first confirm that there are actually a non-legible number of perception errors, such as identity switches and fragments on both the KD and NewSense datasets. 
also when measuring the distance where these errors could happen with respect to the Eagle vehicle, we found that about 200 instances of errors, which is only 5 meters away from the Eagle vehicle on the nuisance desert, which might cause problems to downstream planning. Given all these observations, we believe that we need a mitigation strategy in order to reduce error propagation from perception to prediction. Therefore, we propose multi-type of tracking and prediction, or MTP for abbreviation. The idea of MTP is very straightforward. Given past tracklets and current detections as inputs, MTP explores multiple matching hypotheses. Each of these hypotheses could lead to a different set of tracking results. On top of that, we run trajectory prediction for each hypothesis, resulting in a larger set of prediction results. The key idea is simple. By reasoning predictions over multiple tracking hypotheses, we can increase the likelihood of including accurate tracking results for prediction. As one may have noticed, a key component in MTP is to obtain multiple matching hypotheses before prediction. To that end, we use the well-known Murthy's key-based assignment algorithm. Specifically, given an affinity matrix, we first use the Hungarian algorithm to obtain the best matching with the lowest matching cost. Then, we slightly perturb the best matching by toggling ones and zeros, one at a time, this can give us many more suboptimal matching results, but with relatively low matching costs because we start with the Hungarian matching. By sorting this hypothesis based on the cost, we can get a top k matching results for prediction. That is the overview of MTP, but does it really work in practice? The major underlying assumption of MTP is that Using more hypotheses or a larger k may include more accurate tracking results for a prediction. To validate if this is true, we evaluate the tracking results with respect to different k. Specifically, we count the number of tracking errors persistent in all hypotheses. As shown in this figure, we observed a significant reduce of tracking errors with a larger k equals to 20, and this makes MTP really promising. To make the contributions of MTP more clear, we evaluate the final prediction performance in terms of average and final displacement errors. Here, H denotes the number of hypotheses, while K denotes the number of total prediction samples. Surprisingly, MTP with H equals to 20 reduces the prediction errors by up to 70% compared to the standard tracking prediction pipeline with H equals to 1. As a concrete example, we visualize the prediction results produced by MTP on the right and standard tracking prediction pipeline with a single hypothesis on the left. Here, we only visualize the best prediction sample. For the purple objects shown in the left, we can see that its prediction is unstable in some frames because of missing tracking and fragments. In contrast, MTP produces stable predictions for all frames in this video by leveraging more tracking hypotheses. For more details, please contact us via emails. Thanks for watching.